I get a little parched. <laughs> Hi guys! So, it's been over a year since I actually vlogged. Um, one reason being that I can no longer access my old YouTube channel. Um, so I've changed my YouTube channel. I'm doing a lot more on this channel. But my Mac of All Trades review had the highest views on my old one. And I don't really like the video. I had like just come home from work and after ordering the Mac two weeks later coming in, I was so excited. I didn't even wait for the videographer, wink wink, to come home. I just like filmed it. It's a little shaky. It's blurry. It's out of focus. So I kind of want to talk you guys through the video while doing kind of an updated review on the video. So if you like the video or you want to know any information about Mac of all trades and the issues that I ran into stick around and stay tuned okay so initially when I got the package um, a couple of the reviews were saying that uh, the company didn't do such a great job of packaging the Mac so that was what was most nerve-wracking for me because I was like oh my god what if I get my Mac and it's like broken because I got it incredibly cheaper than for what it is like it was a lot cheaper than what it should have been from the Apple store. So um, the reviews are saying that the packaging was all wrong and some of them had issues with the, the actual product itself. It came scratched and it looked like a refurbished iMac. So I was like, mm, okay. But for me, when I got it, my packaging was great. I had two large foams that came underneath and on top of it, as I show you right here, um, the packaging that was actually inside of the box was super thick you couldn't even get through like you couldn't push down and the one on top was thick as well like the box was twice the size of the like I want to say like four or five times the, the the size of the Mac itself so I was grateful for that I think I kind of lucked out because mine came with like I think I found one scratch besides that I got my Mac and it was pretty in great condition in terms of the look of it. So in terms of the initial packaging, like I said, the box was really well packaged and the Mac itself was wrapped in some plastic as well as the keyboard and the mouse. So I give I give it a 9 out of 10 for packaging. I, I felt pretty secure about it. I mean, I'm not expecting it to come like in the big white beautiful box that one day I will be able to get. But besides that, I, I don't think there was any issues with it. Other than that... As of right now, as you're watching these ridiculous bloopers from when I opened up my Mac, I am actually very excited about the purchase. I wish Mac of all trades did sponsor me to buy this, but altogether all I spent about $800 including the keyboard, the warranty, and the magic mouse. Um, the iMac came and it looks just as good as brand new and I have nothing bad to say. I've been using it for about a month now and so far I'm still very happy with my purchase. So I do recommend if you don't have the money to go buy, to go splurge on a Mac from the Mac store, then I definitely recommend this company. Okay, so uh, basically that was the end of my video, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, I did a good job editing. <laughs> don't call me Final Cut Pro or nothing. <laughs> you guys can laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but besides that, this is, the, this is the Mac, it's about two and a half years old now, it's in fairly good condition. Uh, we have taken really good care of it, um, Leon is probably like, this is like his baby, like he treats this better than he treats his hair, and that's pretty much a really big yeah. deal to men. Um, but besides that, I think the only issue we had, it crashed once. But that was because um, when you are that, it's been perfect. I haven't had any real knock on wood issues. Like I said in the video, in my uh, previous video, I bought this whole setup for about $900, including shipping and handling. It does not come with the keypad or mouse. You have to purchase that separately. So that's really what brought the price up a little bit. Besides that, um, yeah, if you really are looking for... Uh, a great product that most people just seem to be happy with. I recommend that you use Mac of all trades. In a couple of my comments underneath the previous video, which I'll link below, um, some people suggested other companies that they purchase refurbished Macs from. I can't do reviews or say anything about that. Maybe you can 
speak with them. Actually, when I initially did the video, I sent it to them and they emailed me back thanking me and I don't think they have a blog, so I don't think they would have posted it. And it was too shaky in the beginning for them to really do anything with anyways. Check it out. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.